guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the Huda Beauty palette, um, which is called no Naughty Palette. It's a nude burgundy-ish palette. Um, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is amazing. It comes in this plastic container. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the palette. And this is how the outside of it looks. It is in a plastic, different from her usual palettes, which is always in cardboard. And this is the inside of the palette. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous palette, you guys can see there. So if you can see, there are burgundy colors, there are brownish colors, there are some nude colors, and then there are some new things that you see here especially this so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the palette if you would like to see a review on this palette please keep on watching all right guys so we're gonna get into the retail price i got my palette from sephora i went the day it got released and i bought the palette with my 20 percent off um the retail price is 67 dollars on huda and sephora it contains eight soft mattes five high shine metallics and i'm pretty sure you can see which one of the metallics um one two three four and five this is a i mean five one two three four and five and it contains three multi-reflective marble creams um the reflective marble creams are this one two three these have reflectors on it is a very 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 beautiful reflection a little weird at first but when even if you mix it in it gives you this reflective color and you'll be surprised at the color combination you get then you got one hypnotic marble cream which is this one right here and this one though it looks like the rest of them is just a matte color and it is very creamy in the pan um when you swirl your brush into it you can tell exactly what i am talking about it's a little bit harder to roll your brush around it and when you do this is the pigment you get on it which is absolutely beautiful you will see me use this color today and then the other one is one never seen, seen before gloss with encapsulated bronze and berry purse pearls which is this one right here and i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys closer if you can see that right there it has like these little capsules in there and then the outside part of it all is a glossy finish um you will see me use this color i am not that impressed by it but you guys will see lastly is this cruelty free talk free gluten free and then the shade that i just showed you which is slippery there are multiple ways of using it you can use it alone you can use it as an eyeshadow and when i say alone i mean you can put it all over the lid and consider that your eyeshadow look for the day another way of using it is as an eyeshadow paste to build up and intensify an eye look i didn't try it that way but next time i am because you will see me using it on top of this and how it kind of worked out um, and then you can add to in accordance or lower lash line to highlight and brighten your eyes. I did find this information on the Huda Beauty website. I don't know if you can find that information on Sephora. So I went ahead and created two looks with this palette. The first look was a look I created a few days ago when I was doing a foundation review. You will not see, I mean, I will go ahead and insert how I look finished. But you will not be seeing me put lashes and everything like that. I kind of rushed to that. Um, and then the second look, of course, is this look right here. This eyeshadow look. My makeup was already done. I will tell you at the end what I use for this video. Um, but you will see me finishing with eyelashes and everything. You don't see me put them on, but you will see. You are seeing the finished product. Anyways, if you guys want to get into it, please keep on watching. To prep my eyes, I'm going to start with my MAC Painterly Pot, um, and I'm going to put that all over the lid, and you see it cancels out um, any dark spots or veins. I have a lot of veins. And then to start off, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Juicy, and I'm going to use that as the transitional shade. You see that I keep blending and then I'll be moving on to shade Naughty. And I'm gonna put that a little bit lower than I put the transitional shade and continue to blend those two out together.
go back i then go back with the brush that i use for the shade juicy and i keep blending that out now i go into the shade spicy and i use that on the outer corners um causing it to create more definition Finally, I'm gonna take this shade um, Please Me, which is more bronzy on the pan, but once you see it on my lid, it does not look that bronzy. It has some purple and bluish glitters in it, and I basically put that all over the lid. And then to finish the lower lash line, I go back into the shade Spicy, and I blend that on my lower lash line. For the final piece of this look, I go into the shade Tantric, which is a golden shimmer, and I put that in the inner corners, and I also use it to highlight my brow bones. Because this was not the final look, I took another clip from another video, and this is how the look looked finished. And then I'm gonna go into my next look, and for the next look, we're going to start with the shade Arouse. And of course, I go ahead and use the MAC Painterly Pot with this as well, as obviously there has been good results with this. And I start blending that all over my crease. Now I go into the shade Hard. Um, which is a marble shade in this collection. It is matte, but it comes out very brownish. And you see, I go ahead and blend that a little bit lower from the Arouse color. Um, and it's a beautiful color, and it has kind of like a wet texture. And then I go back into Arouse and blend the outer parts of it, just so that way it looks seamless. Next, I move on to the shade on Tamed, and I go ahead and put that on the outer corners, causing the look to look a little deeper. For all over the lid, I go into the shade Provocative, which is a marble shimmer shade. And this shade looks burgundy brownish on the pan and you would think that it will come out burgundy and brownish but it actually didn't um, the shimmers come out looking a little rose gold which is very pretty and then finally I move into the shade slippery which is the ones with the pearls locked in to the um, ointment type base and as you can see it adds a little bit of shine but it doesn't do too much of a dramatic look I go in with the Huda Beauty brush um, which you can collect shimmers with and you don't see a big difference um, You guys will see how I feel about that and then finally I go back into the shade hard and I blend that out on my lower lashes And then for the inner corners I go into the shade tantric guys i hope you guys enjoyed both looks of course this is the finishing look of the second look we're gonna get right into it i'm gonna let you know what i wore in today's look for today's foundation i gave the huda beauty um stick foundation the fox filter skin finish in amoretti 310g i'm gonna go ahead and do a foundation review but i did want to try it today before i do that foundation route so i know a little more about this palette um, and then for concealer, I did use the Huda Beauty Concealer, which I don't have it on my desk right now. For primer, I use the matte primer because um, stick foundations tend to be a little more on the dewier side. I am an oily combination, um, so I wanted to make sure that it stayed in place today. Um, it's usually what I get with a lot of foundations that are stick Base, so I wanted to make sure that it stay in place today and then for blush today I went ahead and used the elf putty primer um, blush doesn't say what shade is this interesting it doesn't have the shade name on it but um this is how it looks oh I think the shade name is Bali and this is how it looks it very it looks very dark in the pan but if you can see it is not at all dark. I use like a stippling brush to put 
put this on the skin and it went on beautifully did not break up my foundation whatsoever and then for bronzer of course i went ahead and used my kylie kylie press bronzer powder in almond and then for highlighter i went ahead and used a dior black backstage glow face palette and the shade that i used was the peach shade i hear a lot of people talk about this peach shade so i was excited to get this palette especially for this peach shade um that is what i have on the cheeks right now and then on my lips today is juvia's place this is their matte lipstick um this is the shade coco a right here if you guys want to see it it's right here very beautiful color and then for lip liner, of course, I use UV's Place Lux Liner in Scorpio. And then on my lashes, I use the Ardell 817. If you can see these, these are very, very, very natural. They are wispier in the middle. And then I use for mascara the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. So to move on to my review on this palette, I have been a little conflicted. I do love the shades of this palette. It is so me. Those dark tones is who I am, especially when it comes to a makeup look. Um, but for $67, I feel like you can find these shades elsewhere. Does the palette perform beautiful? Absolutely. The only shade I am having an issue with is Slippery. Um, I'm going to swatch it but this is how it looks but when you swipe it it's really nothing special it's just another eyeshadow palette very very light and when you guys saw on my eyes when i put it it did look a little bit wet but it wasn't nothing dramatic it didn't give that wet effect there was no color payoff which was a little upsetting to say the least i will say i am impressed with the shade hard which is the shade i used in my um second look it is a creamier shade and when you swipe it it comes out to this dark brown which is absolutely beautiful one thing that i noticed with the huda beauty palette huda beauty palette is that although they look very very pigmented here they are always never true to the tone and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean they come off very very lightly and you can build it up true to the tone eventually it can be a good and a bad thing because for a good thing because if you're a starter or you hate when your um eyeshadow sticks to your base it comes off good because you start off with a light base and you're sitting there swirling your brush and you know running it through your eyes it comes off light it goes ahead and um it doesn't get patchy or anything and it's not a heavy color and you get to build up to it what is not too exciting is is that most of our palettes look like they are going to be this high impact and then when you put it on your skin it's not as high pigment it's not as highly pigmented as it is on the pan and so you end up building up for some people that could be frustrating for me Honestly, I don't care because as long as I can build it up, as you can see in my eyes, I am perfectly fine. I don't like when mattes stick to my base and then they start looking patchy. It just, it ruins the entire look for you. Furthermore, her metallics are always, always amazing. They always, always, always perform very well. You can see here, this shade is Desire and this shade is Irresistible, which is the one that I put in my inner corners. See how beautiful those are? Those are definitely true to the color you are seeing um i do like the palette i'm not going to sit here and say this is not a well performing palette it is a amazing performing palette my issue is for 67 dollars, you can definitely find it somewhere else and if you're trying to get this palette for this it is not even worth it i am going to go ahead and try this shade in the other ways that she described as far as using it alone it probably is a nicer shade because it is by itself there's no other colors taking away from it um and then i'm also going to try to use it as the eyeshadow base honestly i don't see anything magical happening from that but we can go ahead and try it Overall if, overall, if you like this palette and you think it's beautiful, I suggest you get it, especially if you are willing to spend that much money. But if you don't have the, if this is not in your budget and you're not crazy about certain shades in here that you can definitely find somewhere else, there is no need to get this palette. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that review. 
And if you would like to see more reviews, please subscribe to my channel and hit a thumbs up. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.